Hello friends, so here we are with another question on diode current equation. So here it has been mentioned that a diode has a current of 0.6 milliampere when the applied voltage is 400 millivolt and 20 milliampere when the applied voltage is 500 millivolt. We have to find the ideality factor eta and the thermal voltage or the volt equivalent of temperature it has been asked to take 26 millivolt as that value okay so here we have to determine the ideality factor or indirectly we can say it has been asked to find out what type of diode it is because ideality factor gives us information about the diode if it is close to one uh, one then it is germanium if it is two then it is silicon the two popular choices okay so here again first we have to write out uh, the diode current equation which is equals to i0 e to the power v ta vt minus 1 okay so here we can simplify this equation now normally the diode equation it is written as this but for uh, you know when the current is large in, in a forward direction we can approximate it as this i0 e to the power v by eta vt only this much and this is the equation form which we will be using for this question to solve this question okay so here we have two cases okay case one where the diode current the forward current is equal to 0.6 milliampere for a forward voltage of 400 millivolt so in this case the diode equation will be i1 is equal to i0 e to the power v1 by vt this or this here is 0.6 milliampere is equal to i0 e to the power 400 millivolt by eta into 26 millivolt this this is the first equation then we have case 2 okay we have case 2 where the current flowing is 20 milliampere and the applied voltage is 500 millivolt so in that case it is i2 is equal to i0 e to the power v2 by eta vt i0 eta vt they are all constant so that is equal to uh, this is 20 milliampere equals to i0 e to the power 500 millivolt divided by eta into 26 millivolt this is equation 2 so if we divide equation 2 by equation 1 then it will be 20 milliampere divided by 0.6 milliampere is equal to i0 e to the power 500 millivolt by 26 millivolt to eta by i0 into e to the power 400 millivolt by 26 millivolt eta this so here milliampere milliampere got cancelled i0 i0 got cancelled here millivolt millivolt got cancelled millivolt got cancelled in both the numerator and the denominator so here 
it is simply if we simplify it that implies 20 by 0 0.6 which is equal to this coming 33.33 is equal to e to the power here 500 by 26 eta by e to the power 400 by 26 eta which is equal to e to the power 6 eta minus 400 by 26 eta which is equal to e to the power 26 eta 500 minus 400 that implies 33.33 is equal to e to the power 100 by 26 eta this up to this we have got now if we take natural logarithm on both sides okay taking this on both sides we get ln 33.33 is equal to 100 by 26 eta ln e okay ln e to the power anything is e to the power x like this that is x ln e so by that we have got this okay this one so that implies and ln e is equal to 1 so that implies ln 33.33 it is coming around Three point five zero six. Three point five zero six is equal to hundred by twenty six eta. That implies ideality factor eta is equal to hundred by twenty six into three point five zero six, which is equal to. One point zero nine seven, one point zero nine seven, which is equal to one almost. So, this is the ideality factor, and the type of diode is germanium because germanium has an ideality factor equal to one. So, this is the result that we wanted. Okay. So here this was the question, the important step here is to approximate this diode equation into this form because if we would have used this uh, equation it would have been a little bit difficult to get the value of eta. So that is why we approximated it into this form. Then there were two cases, one uh, two separate forward voltages were applied which led to different forward currents. So, we got two equations 1 and 2 then we took the ratio of both the equations and brought it into this form and then we just took logarithm on both sides to get the value of eta which is this which came 1.097 close to 1, 1 is for germanium ideality factor ok. So, this is the uh, question and this is how we solved it.